So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without John Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm gonna make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children were in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. It's time for Light from a Torch, episode 13. Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, let's uh, jump right into it, huh? Alright. So, just trying to get to the uh, forge or whatever. So... Yeah, just trying to see where the heck I'm supposed to go. Probably at least this way. Something shouldn't be too bad now that I have the plus 10 again. These guys do a lot of damage. Okay. Let's see here. Anything worth equipping? So this requires a magic level higher than what I have. That requires strength. Uh, fire resistance. Okay. I think I'm going to pass this one on to the dog. Let's see what's up with these boots. They're just green boots. Let's get rid of those. Got a gun. It's a green gun. Get rid of that. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, Maglin. Thanks a lot for hosting. Rock on. <coughs> totally missed the sound of the hosting. I don't know if that's uh, because I wasn't paying attention or what. Nice, that just like went out to find the bad guys, man. Alright. Bam. Freaking flying swords. So if any of Maitland's uh, usual uh, viewers are here, just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Um, definitely not trying to steal any uh, donations from me or anything, but uh, if you want to donate to me as well, right now the uh, one of the things I'm offering up, because I don't happen to have any um, special um, um, game codes or anything, is that uh, for every dollar that someone donates to my extra life, I'll be doing a push-up. So you can really, uh, you can really, you know, mess with me if you donate a lot, uh, or you can just, you know, just help the kids. Just donate a little, help me. Um, so right now I'm in um, the elders um, team for extra life, uh, rather than starting my own team this year. And uh, you know, right now I'm the top donator on the team, so you can help me stay as the top donator on the team. By uh, making donation, even if it's a small one. All right. So I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just wandering around. Um, it looks like perhaps that I went like minus on the amount of um, the amount of uh, XP that I owed from when I died a couple times, because I don't see my orange bar filling up at all. Look at my character sheet. 
<laughs> Let's see. I'll try to beat this guy. Oh, no, I am getting it. I guess I just have so much to go. Or something. I don't know. Or maybe I hit some button that changed what that shows. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go up. Uh, also, um, definitely nothing wrong with lurking if that's what you want to do. But uh, I love interacting with people. So if you happen to be uh, watching and not one of my uh, usual people, which would be almost anybody who's watching, <laughs> uh, I don't tend to have a lot of regulars. Uh, so yeah, just uh, chat along there in the chat room and we can have a little chat there. Uh, my goal for now is to play uh, this game for half an hour. Then I just want to do a little bit more of um, XCOM enemy within tonight. Um, and then I go to bed. Um, have work tomorrow, so I can't stay up too late. Definitely not looking forward to uh, the bad guy for this level because it's not like I'm just, you know, defeating people easily. To, uh, oh, only four potions left from that size. Which is pretty good since they're just running around willy nilly. Let's take a look at my inventory here. Strength. I don't. Uh, pet. Don't need that. Right. I don't have a lot of healing spells left. Or healing potions, which is not a good thing. Can he wear a belt? No, he needs rings. Um, getting to be in a bad place with that stuff. If I find a guy I can buy spells from, I'll definitely buy a healing spell. Well, I actually have one. I don't think I have it equipped to a number, though. Let's see. Let's make number four. My healing spell. That should help. Ooh. Get out of there, get out of there, run away! That is not a good healing spell. Very slow. It does not heal nearly enough compared to the potions. That's a bummer. Definitely need to find a better spell. Or find a better rock to put my stuff. This uh, protection spell. 
Nothing over there, huh? Looks like I found me a dead end. Although, I am working towards getting that XP. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like I should be getting closer at this point, but we'll see. I need to bring back my uh, my golem. That was a tricky place to drop stuff, wasn't it? All right, let's see. Let's uh, do that. Let's do that. Maybe even bring another guy. Get a super health potion. Huh. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Haha. -ha. Where did my imp go? Number six. What about? up those health potions. Nope, it's a monster chest. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. He is hitting me hard. Yeah, got him. Lots of gold. Of course he has a chest. Pets don't pick up my gold for me. That's kind of annoying that they don't. My inventory is full. Is it now? What was I not able to pick up? A monk my wand. Alright. See what this is over here. Me. statues. Let's see. If I go right here and do a pause. Whoa. Eh. Two. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Alright. Wish I'd kept that potion that heals everybody and put it on the frickin' dog, then it'd have no problems at all. My pack is full. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, what's up, Biatch? My inventory is full. Yeah, kill wasting fools. Oh. Carry anymore. Some shoes. Hmm, might be able to use some good shoes. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Dog's not here right now. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Let's keep walking.
There we go. Alright, your turn. Okay. Anything cool over here? Ooh, lots of treasure. I can't carry any more. Da, da, da. Cool, cool, cool. Full. Cool, 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 cool. My inventory is full. Alright, so there's some ember here. Dog will be here in just a few seconds. Your pet has returned. Alright. Grand idiot. Get rid of that. Plus one health still in a hit. Nah, screw that. I can't carry anymore. Poison damage. Poison, I got that one already. Electrical damage, whatever. <coughs> Gotta get those XP numbers up. I can't carry anymore. Spell, huh? Let's see. Okay. All right. I can't carry anymore. There we go. I'm finally making a dent on the little orange bar in the bottom. My inventory is full. There, nope. Okay. Okay, so that guy has some things to destroy. Some more bad guys over there. Nothing big. Huh. Looks like I'm blocked by that way. Alright, so, maybe this way? It must have come from this way though, yep, dude. So now what, now what, let's see. Over there, there we go. Enjoy. Nice. Okay. And now, <coughs> <coughs> definitely give me this back. All right. There we go. Yeah. Maybe I was just penalized because I had effed up 
too much before. And I was on minus on my XP or something. is like a boss fight again. It's definitely a boss fight. Yup. We found it. I believe I can operate the forge. Books in the overseer's library describe it in detail. I should even be able to remove the corruption without diminishing the strength the ember has granted <coughs> you. Take your place on the platform. Having played lots of video games, I'm gonna guess something's gonna go wrong. Just like uh, Chrono Trigger. So, have you come to join us? I knew you would hear Ordrak's call eventually. Master Ulrich, you would never serve such a destructive power. It's the corrupted amber affecting your mind. If Ordrak is the source of this plague, then it is our duty to destroy him. Sure. I taught you about duty, sin, but it is time for a new lesson. Ordrock's power, we can reshape the world. Come and meet your new master. I have a feeling things weren't going to go perfectly. Again. Whoa, that's bad guys. Thanks. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Too many bad guys. Many mother uckers ucking around. Alright, cool. Lots and lots of gold. I like gold. Alright, 
Let's see what he has here. He has a ring, a map, two mana stolen on it, magic attribute bonus, and poison damage. This is miscellaneous. Okay, his weapons. And armor. <coughs> nice. sell this stuff. Alright, I think that's pretty good. I think that's good. I was hoping he'd have some spells. You know what? Maybe I'll go to town. Let's see. See what they've got for sale over there. He sells potions and fish. <laughs> Trying seems to be good enough for now. Lots of stuff. So in skeleton three, and zombies two, archers four, archers four, charm. Summon Archer's one. So I can get rid of this. And I can get Summon Archer's four. Oh, 
fortune is kind to you. Nice. Sure. All right, anyway. Let's go back on there. So that takes care of that, and I think that takes care of um, my playthrough of um, Torchlight for now. I'll be back in just a few minutes with um, XCOM Enemy Within. See you in a few minutes. Bye.